today we're going to make fire from water. I'm going to actually use a common sandwich bag and make fire from water using a water bag lens. I'm also going to demonstrate how to make fire from an ordinary flashlight. All right, so say you're stranded and you have a lunch bag, a sandwich bag, you just ate your lunch. And um, the principle we're gonna use with this is uh, like a magnifying glass. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, is I'm gonna fill this bag full of water as, as full as I can get it um, to overflowing. Now, if I was in the wilderness, of course I would try to get water from a stream and hopefully get all the bubbles out. Okay, I'm trying real careful to, to fill it as full as I can get. Okay, I'm going to focus the light using my, my lens on this uh, piece of char cloth here. I'm going to lay it out. It's a little bit breezy today, so I'm going to put a little rock on, on it and um, go hang a little bit off my platform here so I can focus it here or here if I need to. All right, so I'm gonna wipe the water off from my pant leg here. And you see this thing is shaped like a convex lens, like a magnifying lens. And the, the idea is make sure your hands are dry before you start touching your tinder and your uh, char cloth. But as to focus the light, just like you do a magnifying glass onto your tinder or your char cloth. And it takes a a second to uh, to get it just right. I kind of like to uh, uh, play around with it a little bit. It's not as good as a as a magnifying glass, but I like to squeeze it kind of on the sides, and that tends to get a good um, light focusing on the on the char cloth. And patience is the key with this. Okay, I've got an ember. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, it's lit. I'll very gently place this into my fire bundle. Now I did um, an episode on, on fire tender, so um, I like what Les Stroud, Survivor Man said, different tenders burn at different temperatures. So I've got a mixture of uh, cotton lint, some birch bark and cedar bark in here. I put the wind to your back if you have any wind. And you got fire, fire from water. Okay, the next method is I was gonna show you is the using the flashlight. There's actually three ways to create a fire using a flashlight. Um, I'm gonna take the lens off. I just happened to have one of these. Any flashlight will work. Okay, I'm gonna take the lens out. First thing is you've got the, the bulb and the, um, the refractor that reflects the, the light. Um, in here, you've got a, a big battery one thing I could do if I was in a survival situation and I really needed a fire was I could gently crack the bulb on this and the and put it on the put it in the flashlight, turn it on, and it will get a red hot ember uh, on the tungsten. And but that destroys your bulb. And I may want to use my my flashlight for light later. But I'm going to take the the light bulb out of this. Okay, I've got the bulb out. 
and now I've just got the refractor. I'm going to set that aside for now because we're going to use that in a minute. But we can also start a fire using this battery. And I'll show you um, an easy method. Got a chewing gum wrapper, uh, whatever flavor you like. But I'm going to uh, cut me a small section of this out. Again, if you had to survive on all you had was a knife, it might be a little more difficult to do this. Or if you had a little small pair of scissors in your survival kit or in your car glove box and you were stranded in the, in the outdoors. So I'm going to fold this. And what I'm doing is I'm going to um, trim it down to a small hourglass shape. I'm going to trim the other side too, just uh, okay, I think that's narrow enough. Okay, if you if you notice, I have an an, an hourglass shape. Okay, so I'm going to touch the. Um, aluminum foil side, the metal side to each terminal. What's going to happen is this is going to short the battery out and hopefully start a little fire that I can get. I can drop into an ember bundle and put in um, my nest and get a fire started. Okay, so it's hopefully be fairly quick. Okay, see the smoke? There you go. The next part, uh, way I can start a fire with the flashlight is with the refractor lens. So I'm going to take a piece of char cloth. Again, just practicing. So I use what uh, really works well. Um, there's other things you can use. The, a lot of the survival books talk about a cigarette. Most of us don't smoke, but um, you can stick that into the hole. I'm going to just get a piece of char cloth. I'm sure birch bark would work well. I'm going to roll, roll this up into like a little um, cigarette shape. And I'm just going to stick this in the hole so that it just barely sticks out of this, uh, this refractor lens. And, and I can focus the light onto the tip of this uh, piece of char cloth. I'm even going to fold it over a little bit like that. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to focus the sun using this refractor lens onto the the char cloth, and it'll be really quick. Look at that; it's already started. See the smoke? Okay, once I got smoke on this char cloth. Um, I can go ahead and drop it in my bundle. If I was using some other type of tinder like birch bark, it may take a little bit longer to get a good ember going. But I'm going to gently pull this out so I don't disturb my ember. You can see it's still smoking. I'm going to drop it into my tinder bundle. I'm going to gently wrap my tinder bundle around it, make sure my back is to the wind. Okay, there you go, fire from my flashlight. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We, uh, we did two methods of starting a fire kind of uh, kind of a strange way. We used a flashlight, ordinary flashlight, uh, three different ways. And we, we started out with using an ordinary sandwich bag, filling up with water to make a lens and started to fire that way. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and be sure to subscribe on our page. Thanks and we'll see you on the next one.